Now, with rising interest rates, the stock is getting hammered. It's dropped over 20%. Now, with a yield of over 5.5%, this company pays you $1.79 for every share that you hold, just for holding the stock. Now imagine this, you buy this dividend stock holding in your tax-free savings account. That $1.79 magically compounds over to $5 per share, paying you money while you sleep. Now that's the magic of compounding its dividend growth, where the dividends magically grow over time as long as you hold on to this company. And that's why I've invested over $20,000 in this one company in the past month. But there are some red flags which I'm going to reveal later on in this video. This video is only for entertainment purposes only. Please don't follow my investments blindly. Please do your own due diligence. Now the company I bought is called Canadian Utilities. Now this company operates three segments, electricity, natural gas, and retail energy services to all around the world. Now its clients are mainly Canadian, predominantly in Alberta, Saskatchewan, Yukon, Northwest Territories, and it still operates some services to Australia, Chile, and Mexico. And my favorite part, like Fortis, another big utility company in Canada, Canadian Utilities has been paying their dividends and growing their dividends for the past 50 years, which is amazing. Now you might be asking, come on Tracy, this is a boring Canadian utility company and dismal returns. Why are you even investing in it? That's a good question. And you're right. This company is not going to give you any awesome returns over the next decade. Now with recession potentially looming in the near future and the fear of the stock market is going to go to crap again and turn into a bear market where the market's going down, well, guess what? This company is going to shine because it is a defensive company, meaning because of its highly regulated environment and its essential need, there's always a demand for power. But there is one weakness with all these utility companies, and that is they are very sensitive to a rising interest rate environment, which is why Canadian Utilities and many other utility companies are getting hammered in this high interest rate environment. See, these companies are super capital intensive. It takes billions of dollars to build out their infrastructure. And in order for them to continually grow their revenue, well, they got to re-inject money into their infrastructure, which means they take on more debt. And then, you know, in a high interest rate environment like you and me, we got higher payments. Well, that's the same with these companies, which means it could really eat into its profits and its net income over time, which means the growth could slowly stall in the next decade. If interest rates continue to be high, then, well, the revenue and the profit margins are going to not be so great compared to the last five years. Now you're probably asking, are utilities a good investment? That's a great question. It depends on your goals and your risk tolerance. So utility companies like Canadian Utilities are not going to give you, well, let's say great returns over the next five years, especially if we return to a bull market, which is a market that goes up. But if you're looking for lower volatility, which means that the company doesn't move up and down very much, and a great way to check that is look at the beta rating on Yahoo Finance. Anything less than one means that it's not as volatile. It doesn't move up and down so much. Now, if you are a cautious investor and you're looking for steady eddy returns and just to generate income no matter what the market is doing, well, this company might be a good investment for you. Now, if you are a beginner, Utility companies are a great investment because they're like training wheels. They act as a solid foundation to any stock portfolio, ensuring stability and income no matter what this market is doing. Just remember, when it comes to investing in utility companies like Canadian Utilities, the magic is its dividends, which is the income you collect just for holding its shares. But you must remember to take those dividends and buy more of the same shares and eventually it will compound over time as long as you hold on to it so that you make more and more money while you sleep. Now this stock is a lot lower compared to earlier this year where it's dropped 20% and with a dividend yield of over five and a half percent, is this a dividend trap? Now the two metrics I love to look for 
just to easily screen away, is this a dividend trap? Is its payout ratio, which is its earnings payout ratio and its free cash flow payout ratio. So what I look for is, well, in earnings payout ratio, ideally less than 75%, because obviously I don't want the company to pay out all its profits back to you and me because that's unsustainable. So with the earnings payout ratio, I'm seeing, well, uh, it's getting a little bit hairy. It's 86%, which is like, ugh, it's not giving me good vibes. But when I look at its free cash flow payout ratio, then it looks more enticing. That means all its monthly cash flow, every single month that it collects, well, pays all the expenses and pays out dividends to you. And you can see that it's 60%, which is a lot, lot better. And that's very natural for a capital intensive company like Canadian Utilities to have a really high earnings payout ratio and a much more manageable cash flow payout ratio because it has a lot of write-offs which hits its bottom line and lowers its earnings. Now, is this company safe for the long term? If you're relying on income for the foreseeable future, I don't see personally any issues with it paying its dividends. But what I do see is a slowdown in its revenue and its profit margins because it's likely that we're going to stay in a higher interest rate environment for the foreseeable future. And guess what? These utility companies are very sensitive to a high interest rate environment, which cuts down its margins. But there is a silver line. More than 25% of its investments is in its renewable energy. And with the Paris Agreement, trying to get all these big companies to reduce its carbon footprint, because guess what? We have a climate change issue. Then there's going to be more and more investments to grow renewable energy. But if you believe that the demand for energy is only going to get bigger and there's going to be more and more money put into renewable energy infrastructure, then over the long run, I think personally, I'm not worried about Canadian utilities. Now, if you're worried about the growing debt the Canadian utility has and that in the next five years, we're going to be in a high interest rate environment. Well, Canadian Utilities, like any other utility company, is very sensitive to a high interest rate environment. And then that might be a pass for you because there's a bit too much risk. But for me personally, I believe Canadian Utility is still an attractive investment. It has a decent yield with a good regulated environment, which means the demand is always going to be there. Now, if you want to accelerate your passive income, I want to share three strategies so that you can invest once and collect a lifetime of passive income and ultimately reach financial independence. Check out this video up here. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!